Good morning and a very warm welcome. You are watching Janata Television and this is the English Bulletin with me, Sushan Takal. The top stories first. NMA demands government fix the fees of medical education, complaints fees to be too exorbitant. World Federation of Trade Union March 74th anniversary pledges for workers' welfare. Stock market encouraging on final day of transaction before Dasai, Nepse index rises by 8.69 points. UN Security Council to meet Tuesday on a North Korea missile launch. Analysts say missiles fire to pressure US for nuclear diplomacy. And South Africa faces uphill battle against India in Test Series. India posts a huge total of 502 runs. And now the news in detail. Nepal Medical Association has demanded that the government immediately fix the medical education fees as per the ceiling set by the government. The Medical Association is up in arms against medical colleges for the exorbitant fees that, may have, that they may have been charging. President of Nepal Medical Association Dr. Mukti Ram Shrestha demanded the government to set the fees amid protests by the association. Dr. Shrestha accused the government of disregarding the agreement reached with senior orthopedic surgeon Dr. Govind Keshi for the reforms in the medical education sector of Nepal. उल्लेख कर कमन इंट्रांस का कुछ सीट निर्धारण का कुछ मूल्य निर्धारण भाला फी निर्धारण का कुछ सारा कुछ ती कुछ राज्य के गंभीरतापूर्वक दिए कसरी छिटो समस्या समाधान करने भाई इस कसरी लिंगलिंग करने तीर गई रहो मैं महसूस भाग Dr. Shrestha stated that important decisions for resolving the pertinent issues of medical education sector have been halted since government has not summoned the meeting of the Medical Education Commission. The World Federation of Trade Union marked, marked its 74th anniversary yesterday. The union came into existence on 3rd October 1945 for securing the rights and interests of workers. Nepal also celebrated 74th anniversary of WFTU organizing various programs. The Federation has been working for the welfare and security of workers in all aspects of life and will continue to do so in the near future, said Prem Kumar Khanal, coordinator of the union. <laughs> Khanal lamented that Nepal has seen a rise in neoliberals that has attributed to the increased discrimination against the working people based on vested agendas by the capitalists. <laughs> The Federation has been demanding for fair and free elections of official trade unions in all sectors. The Tobacco Product Control and Regulation Act has been ineffective due to internal clashes between the ministries of Nepal government. The participants at an interaction program organized in Kathmandu yesterday unanimously said the act could not be effective because of the clashes between the health ministry and the home ministry regarding the sharing of responsibilities. The reports have estimated that every year 27,300 new tobacco users emerge in Nepal. Although the Tobacco Product Control and Regulation Act has been introduced by the government to limit the use of tobacco, it has failed in the implementation. This is Janata Bulletin. We will be right back after a short break. Welcome back. After the break, we continue with other national news. 
Nine people have been taken ill after consuming po poisonous mushroom in Rupandehi district. Food poisoning has affected nine people from the same family in southern part of the district. The family members had consumed wild mushroom nearby their home at Nagbalia of Samarimai Rural Municipality on Wednesday night. They are undergoing treatment at Bhairabha-based Bhim Hospital. Those admitted to the hospital have been identified as 75-year-old Roshini Yadav, Ram Pujan Yadav, 73, Chandramati Yadav, 50, Geeta Yadav, 40, Ishwari Yadav, 40, Manju Yadav, 33, Seema Yadav, 18, Roma Yadav, 14, and 10-year-old Ashish Yadav. They were admitted to the hospital after suffering from stomach pain, vomiting and nausea. Many people in the rural area fall ill after consuming poisonous mushroom as they fail to properly identify the mushroom species. The Secondary Education Examination Board has released the results of its grade upgrading exam yesterday. The Office of the Controller of Examinations, Sanotimi, released the results on the exams conducted between August 18 to 28. The results were published after a meeting on Wednesday. The total number of students appearing for the exams were 165,694, out of which 111,678 students managed to get their grades improved. Twelve students had their results cancelled. The black topping of a road section from Tokmedara Hatia to Buddha Chok in Taplejung has worn off within two months since the road was blacktopped. A report. Maina Chuli Construction Company had blacktopped the road section in Taplejung in July this year. The locals complained that the black topping had started peeling off even before the construction was complete because the last minute work was carried out during the monsoon. Meanwhile, most of the solar lights installed along the road section have stopped functioning. <laughs> Two years ago, the Elam branch of Urban Development and Building Construction Department was mandated to complete the black topping work within 15 months. However, after the restructuring of the state, the department handed over the responsibility to the Urban and Building Construction Project, CHAPA, to undertake the construction work. The project signed a deal worth Rs 30 million with Mainachuli Construction Company to complete the black topping. As per the agreement, the private company had pledged to blacktop the road section and install 35 solar lamps. However, the black topping has come off within a few months after completion of the work. The construction company has admitted that the shoddy work was a result of the failure to carry out the black topping as per the estimates. जुन स्टैंडर्ड में रहना निर्माण व्यवसाय लेते हैं जुन स्ट्रक्चर या समर्थना बनाने हो त्यों से ही समर्थना बनाने पड़ता है जुन साइड में चाहिए अब राज्य पक्ष लेने इंजीनियर पानी खड़ा करने चाहिए रहने निर्माण व्यवसाय को बनी आपने इंजीनियरिंग करने चाहिए Engineer Binod Singh of the Chapa based project office said that they have received the report of the black topping coming off and have already initiated the process to take actions against the contractor. And now the news from the economic front. The stock market remained encouraging for investors on the final day of transaction before the Dase festival. The Nepse index increased by 8.69 points to 1149.40 on Thursday. The sensitive index was also increased by 2.19 points. The improvement shown, thus shown by the stock regulatory body is probably the reason why there is improvement in the market. Thursday, all indicators saw increase except for finance companies. The total transaction for 153 companies reached 176 million on Thursday.
The total share transaction yesterday stood at 647,562. Solti Crown Plaza was the leader in the total transaction amount at 31.6 million. The investors of Unilever Nepal Limited were the biggest winners with the return as high as 10%. The investors of United Finance saw the largest drop at 9.31 percentage. Time for a short break here at Janata Bulletin. Stay tuned for international news. We are at the end of Janata Bulletin and the headlines once again. NMA demands government fix the fees of medical education, complain fees to be too exorbitant. World Federation of Trade Union marks 74th anniversary pledges for workers' welfare. Stock market encouraging on the final day of transaction before Dosai Nepse index rises by 8.69 points. UN Security Council to meet Tuesday on North Korea missile launch. Analysts say missile fire to pressure US for nuclear diplomacy. And South Africa faces uphill battle against India in Test Series. India posts a huge total of 502 runs. And that's all from the English News Desk for today. You can follow Janata Television and our programs on various social media platforms, including on our website, janatasamachar.com. Keep watching Janata Television. Namaste.